if you watch my channel you know that in one of those videos a while back i was working on a seven carat yes you guys commented that you want to see the finished ring and so here it is ladies and gentlemen this amazing breathtaking gorgeous seven carat is done I must say, I don't know, I, should I even do story time? Yes, I should do story time. I, I want to say, for the longest time, I thought that I loved like chubby emerald and then I got influenced by other elongated emerald rings that I made and then now that I'm finishing this one and I'm looking at it I'm like okay I'm in love with the chubby emerald again and poor husband is gonna have to get me one of each <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video on this glorious seven carat emerald ring you need to hit that button right now because i show so many sparkles and i'm so excited about the seven carat because come on it's a seven carat ring it's magnificent of course i have to just do a little shout out to my client jackie she just i love her i love her i love her she's like one of my clients who just gives me full like here is do whatever you want, Bonnie. Just make me a beautiful ring. I love you. I love that. This is when I do my best work. So here it is. I think this ring, I want to say, it was inspired by Beyonce a little bit just because she has this 20 plus carat version with the split shank. And I was like, okay, I don't want to do a single shank because this is not an engagement ring. It's just a beautiful diamond ring that she wants to have. And I said, okay, she's such a boss. Like she needs something pow. Wow. And I figured why not a large emerald? And then when we talked about this and she was just like, I put it on her finger. I was like, how do you feel? She's like, yes, yes, this is it. So let's jump right in talking about this glorious ring. Seven carat uh, emerald cut diamond. This is actually a K color VS1. I know I don't talk about all the color clarity in my each and every single one of my video. And some of you guys like get annoyed with me and be like, I want to know all the deeds. Well, sometimes I'm making rings for certain clients that they want to be private and they don't want all their details and stuff out in the world. So that's one of the reason why I, I share it with some that I know is okay with the client or I don't in some other scenario. But this is a K color diamond. The reason why we set it in gold is because the center is a little bit warmer than compared to like a def color stone so once you put it with the yellow you blend it with the yellow it makes it extra seamless and of course we do color matching on the side of the band as well so that really is i feel like in terms of craftsmanship it's so important to color match and i will tell you that over 90 8% of all jewelers in the world do not do color matching. Uh, I know because I have worked for other jewelry companies and I have tried to go to very high-end stores and like check if uh, anybody does color matching and the answer is they don't. So for me, it's so important to make color matching even on the Melly diamonds on the side because that's what makes it seamless. The seven carat to me, it's perfect. It's 136 ratio uh, for someone who wants more width and more of that kind of powwow and like i love how after i said it like you look at the depth of the stone it's just like it's very pronounced very nice and when you build that to split shank it really brings out that stone i feel like this if it was set on a thinny tiny shank i would have been like eh, i don't know I, I i have that extra two thick of diamonds with the hidden halo and the double prong on the side the double prong for me is one of the highlights of this ring because this is such a chubby like emerald that double prong really just like frames it really beautifully and it's very petite set clawed so like you can't see it it's there but it's just it's not there it it's it melts me i'm like looking at it i need a 20 carat version of it or 25 carat version of it i mean mariah carey 
uh, had a 25 carat. I remembered when she was dating her billionaire boyfriend. Yes, I need I need something like this on my finger. And one little pointer when you're choosing a natural diamond like this, um, it's actually I want to discuss is fluorescence. So I'm gonna make a full video on fluorescence. I know everybody's wanting to know, but typically in lower color of the scale of colorless, right? When you get to the near colorless, the end of near colorless and the beginning of faint, you definitely want a little bit fluorescence to kind of offset the warmth to help the diamond look a little bit whiter face up. So that's a kind of a pointer that I tell all my customer, especially when you want size, like the bigger size, of course, in the best world, colorless, you know, 10, 20 carat flawless. But of course, we're trying to balance the look and the budget at the same time. So that's something that does not exist pretty much in lab diamonds. Lab diamonds does not have fluorescence, but typically people are going colorless or on the higher scale of lab diamond anyway. Uh, this is a beautiful, large natural diamond. And to me, it just, it's hall of mirror. It, it just, it's so important to have the right craftsmanship because once you actually put it on your finger if any of those are not done well if the color matching is not there the double polishing is not there and all of that work is not there that hollow mirror is just gonna show all the you know rough metal on the inside if if, if it's not made right so that's it you guys this amazing seven carat emerald cut diamond put it on your wish list because this is definitely on my wish list but bigger version of it so 10 years this year plus five 15 years maybe i'll start with a 15 carat i don't know cheer for me you guys leave your comments below what you think what band do you think would go well with it i think my my client mentioned that she wants like two ruby bands on either side oh so gorgeous i can't wait to get started on that, let me know, let me know your all your thoughts below. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Jewelry, your girl, the queen of diamonds. I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye.